Squad, it's Nicole Skaz. Welcome back to my channel. So recently I filmed, oh my god, cat. Ooh, she likes you guys. So recently I filmed a video where I bought all of Ulta's lipstick and I mixed it all together to create a weird, interesting, ultimate lipstick shade. Get it? Ulta, ultimate. Yeah. You guys love the video, so I thought it would be fun to go to the Dollar Tree and get all of their eyeshadows, mix them together, and see what kind of shade we get and what kind of texture and shimmer and gleam. I don't know, it would be a really fun experiment and I think you guys would really enjoy it. Plus, all of this dollar store eyeshadow costs just as much as one eyeshadow palette at Ulta that's like a good brand. So all of these down here are only one dollar each, so let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 23, 23, 23, 23, 23 right there not including tax maybe like 24 or 25 modern renaissance from Anastasia is well over $30 I'll put the actual price of this palette right here but one of these for all of these now something to note here is the quality and the formulas that have been used say in this palette versus Dollar Tree palette so we're also going to be comparing the quality of all these dollar store eyeshadows and the expensive high-end eyeshadow. I'm really curious to see what kind of shade, what color we're gonna get at the end of this with all of these Dollar Tree eyeshadows because we have a lot of funky, crazy blues, purples, and we also have a lot of nude. And this wouldn't be a Nicole Skaz video without some glitter eyeshadow. Okay, so just roughly estimating with my eye which one of these eyeshadows would have like the most pigmented color. I would say I really like these little ones right here. I feel like these look like they would have a lot of pigment to them. Maybe I should try to match some of these colors in here. Looks like we have a lot of red shades and also some neuter shades. I'll grab this to compare and we need to find something with red. Now I think that's something we're somewhat lacking is the red colors. This kind of has a red right here that kind of matches here, so we'll pull that to the side. And then this one kind of matches right here, actually very nice. And this one right here looks good. So these are the ones we are going to be quality testing versus the Renaissance palette. You know I really want to test out the glitter one, but I'll have to do that later. We're doing science here, okay? Real science. Okay, we are trying to find similar shades right now. I'm gonna be working on this shimmery shade right here, which is called Primavera. I am thinking that this shade and this shade look almost identical. And I also would like to know, I absolutely love these little mini palettes. I think they're so cute. So first we will grab a little bit of the Dollar Tree eyeshadow and we will swatch it. All right, you can see a little glisten. Now we are going to pick up some high-end eyeshadow and immediately I can see that it's sticking way better to my brush. So I'm interested to see how that's going to apply. Oh my gosh, it really didn't apply that differently. It has a little bit more of a high-end glisten. I wonder if we wet the brush, if the dollar store makeup would pick up a little bit better. So we wet the brush now and I'm just picking, oh, whoa, okay, I got a lot there. Oh my gosh, is it me or does that look identical to you? That looks almost identical. This one has a tiny bit of a different shade. I am absolutely in shock right now. Okay, let's move on to a different color because that is insane. Now we are going to be testing out the white nude color Tempera and this nude color right here. I do see that the dollar store one has a little bit more of like a yellow pigment and this one has a little bit more white pigment, but it's a pretty close match, so let's give it a whirl. I will start off with the high end. Now the high end crumbles really nicely. You get a lot of pigment on there just from a couple brushes. We are going to stay on the high end side. This is the high end side, this is the dollar store side. So you can see that pretty well. Now without a wet brush, let's grab our color. All right, and you can't see that at all. Let's wet the brush and see if that changes at all. And negative. This palette right here, this is the nude palette I was using from the dollar store, LA Colors Eyeshadow. 
That one did not pick up at all. So I have another eyeshadow shade that looks pretty similar to that one. I'm gonna try this. This is on the Little LA Colors Miniature Palette. Let's see if this one has better luck. So I'll try it right next door. That looks identical. Look at that. This one actually has more of a vibrance. Center one was a total flop, but wow. Okay, so I used this little one right here on the LA Colors little makeup palette pocket makeup palette and wow that looks very similar we did a lot of nudes now i want to try something with more of a pigmented color so i think i'm going to try a red ish eyeshadow this is not an exact match but this red shade right here i think it's pronounced venetian venet ventian ventian did I say it right? I think this one looks as close as we can get out of all the eyeshadow pigments I have today. This one has a little bit more of a shimmery look and this one has a little shimmer but it's more matte. That's the best we can get and that's what we'll do. You can just see how much pigment I get. That's just insane, okay. That is a very beautiful color, I love that. Now let's move on to our LA colors. All right, so this one has a lot more shimmer and it's generally just a different color, but it still doesn't look bad. If I were to choose which one I like better, I do like this shade better just because it's more matte, but this does have pigment. That's probably a tie. And then these two, the dollar store definitely won. So now we're going to try and match two smoky shades together. So like a brown shade. Oh my gosh, identical. This dollar store shade and this high end shade look almost identical. Okay, so we will try the high end. We'll do it up here. Very pigmented, some fallout. All right, clean my brush. Now we will go for the dollar store. You do have to press a little bit harder and really get it in there. That looks like the exact same shade. I've been wasting 30, 40, 50, even sometimes $60 on these high end shades when some of these dollar store eyeshadows look incredible. I particularly would say when the brush is wet, you get a better result from the dollar store eyeshadow. And obviously with the high end, you don't necessarily have to wet your brush for most of these shades in this particular palette. They're very creamy. I do like this palette a lot. Now that we have that out of the way and we tested that out and we saw the results, the insane results, if that was shocking to you, give this video a thumbs up. Now we're gonna move to the eyeshadow. So let's depot all these eyeshadows in one container and see what kind of shade we get and what kind of texture. Okay, so here is my pot that I will be adding all of the eyeshadows to and then I'm just gonna use this little nail thing to depot the eyeshadow itself. I just want to note I did touch this one with my finger and that is the creamiest, most beautiful, just like, oh my god. Oh, that just crumbles so nicely. I love that. Okay, this is so satisfying. Just like, look at that, oh my gosh. Can we take a moment to appreciate that? All right, guys, so before I continue on, I want you to guess in the comments down below what color you think that this is going to turn after I'm done.
guys, so here is what all of those palettes depotted looks like. We actually have quite a bit in here. So predominantly it looks brown, purple. We have a lot of chunks of blues and taupes and whites. So I'm just going to mix this around and create one giant interesting dollar store color. I do see little goops in here and that is from the glitter eyeshadow. Alright, so it is relatively all mixed up and we ended up with this brownish slightly plum color. So I'm going to put some in my pot and then we're going to press this down. This is the only shade I didn't use which was the gold glitter because I actually really liked it and I didn't want to just put it in this and waste it so I kept it. The official eyeshadow shade that we created here and I would like to say that there are a couple specks of random other eyeshadows it doesn't look like the greatest shade I've ever seen it has kind of a grayish tone to it now that I really look at it it does look quite creamy though so let's just go ahead and swatch this bad boy Interesting. Okay, this is not a bad color and I didn't get my brush wet prior to applying it. It's weird, we almost created this color right here. Let me get my brush wet, swatch it. Okay, so the brush is wet. I'm just going to do it right here. What? I actually really like that color. Check it out, it's kind of like a brownish gray with a little bit of highlight to it, a little bit of glitter in there. I actually think that that is really pretty. Okay, so just for the sake of it, I'll apply it to my eye. I already have eyeshadow on. Oh my gosh. I kind of like that color. So in my last makeup mixing video, I asked you guys to name my lipstick that I made from all the Ulta shades at Ulta. And this is the comment that has the most likes you guys thought would be the best. So here it is. I absolutely love that name. Okay, so I want you guys to do the same thing. Let me know in the comment section down below what we should call this eyeshadow color right here. And again, the comment with the most likes, I will be naming it that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit that thumbs up. That way I know to make more videos like this. And if you're not subscribed already, hit that subscribe button. Become a member of the Sky Squad. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Woo!